Okay, I'm making an attempt at showing how I'm working and hopefully you can't see my messy self. I've just finished putting the paint on and blown it out and so far so good. It's looking really pretty. Let me bring it up a little bit closer so you can actually see it. And now I'm going to start moving the paint around. So here goes. The rules are you center it every time you move it. So I'm trying it. And I seem to be getting some really good cell development. But um, I'm an impatient person, so I probably won't follow all the rules. Just get it to the edge here and then pull it back. Move it towards the center and it's looking really pretty as I'm moving it to the center. And rest it for a moment. Now, I think I'm going to go to the opposite corner. So here goes. Paint pours require a lot of patience and believe me, I have done so many in the last few weeks that I keep getting frustrated because I'm not getting the cell development that I hope for. But today, this attempt, seems to be going just about the right way, at least on this side of the canvas. So I'm going to pull it over a little bit more and then I'm going to stop it again once it gets to the edge. I hope you can see it. This is my first attempt at videoing live and then I'm going to pull it back again towards the middle to just settle it. Now I'm loving what's happening on the sides that I've moved already. So let's hope that the other sides work just as well. I hope you're seeing it because I'm pointing it at the camera and hoping with my amateur style videotaping that you actually do see the process that I've been going through and experimenting with for the last week or so. So there goes the paint over to that side and once I've got it closer to the edge, by just touching it a little bit there, I'm going to bring it back towards the center. But I tell you, I love the top section that's closest to me. And I'm hoping that this final move will re give me some really good results too. So fingers crossed that I'm not doing it too quickly and breaking rules and that this stretches right down to that bottom corner. A lot of paint seems to be running off, yes, but in reality I have not used a lot of the artist paint, just the one on the base because I needed to have enough paint underneath the acrylic paint for the artist paint to float over. And that seems to be working really, really fine today. Good cell development on the top section. Perhaps less on this because maybe I'm forcing it. Maybe I'm going a little bit too fast. I hope I've still kept it in your view though. Not too good at this camera thing. I normally work in complete isolation. But um, it's looking quite pretty. I don't know if I want to trouble it anymore. Anyhow, let's move this down just a little bit on that side. I don't think I really need the dark blue in the corner. The turquoises and the other colors are really singing and looking beautiful. So move a little bit more of that dark blue off, I think. Stretch a few more of the cells that I got developing if the paint wants to move anymore, but it seems to be slowing down. Painting and pouring paint is one of the most therapeutic things you can do. So if you need something to calm yourself, just check it out. Painting is just an amazing thing to do. And there I think I'm done. I'm not going to move it any further. 
I think I like what's happened to it so far and all we can do is wait and see what comes out when it dries. making my hands really messy I'm gonna pick it up and bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can see how it has come out so far because I haven't learned how to edit yet so this is my first attempt as I said at videotaping what I do and the colors I've used are lovely sky blue Fallow blue mixed with white, titanium white. I'm not too sure what this color green was called, so I don't dare name it on screen, on camera. And some ultramarine blue. All of these have been mixed with a mixture of ultra deep base and polycrylic. 10 ounces of ultra deep base and 5 ounces of polycrylic mixed in a bottle together. And the base for putting the paint on was regular house paint. And I think I've just splashed some water on my work. And that's about it.